history is very oversimplifying and the idea of what is valuable and what isn't and who survives. And actually the great thing is to see this work again, to be able to be with it. It's very moving. She has this obsessive nature to her work. It's slightly uh, meditative or becomes something else. She's not sitting here in front of the painting going, oh, where's the meaning? She's there saying, I'm in the process of making something appear. And in a way, I'm part of this decision, but I'm also not. Rosalie um, was very, very interested in the power or of pattern, which be it sort of Islamic tiles, um, mosaic, this is a, a tour de force. I mean, it's a very great, it's a triumph. It's not about the ease of, say, Matisse or freshness. It's more like the, the worker also of Cezanne or someone who builds, builds, builds across the surface. She managed to be very ahead of her time. I like the, the complexity of a relationship between detail and overview. You can see beneath the painting a kind of an accumulation of material and thought. Texture for all painters is important, even if there's none. Rose is much more kind of in a way relating to the history of painting in terms of the touch of the paint. What we're dealing with here is not someone who's using the paint to take us elsewhere, but is using the paint to kind of bring in very abstract principles and ideas. We have this run here of exuberance of, of paint that's in a way sort of been pulled together as if it's sort of almost like crochet or sewing or, or weaving. When you, somebody says your work is decorative, then in a way there's a way of apparently putting the artist down. And of course, Rosa was just thinking that is just nonsense. Of course, there's a whole history from Baroque to Rococo, a whole history of art that is very maximal and giving. She dealt with that in a very abstract way. And also she's obsessed with being a good painter, which sounds corny, but is very, very true. Oh, as a person, very good fun, a good friend, bright, excited, intelligent, a laugh. She just became ill and so she couldn't do so much work. I didn't see uh, a, a colossal change. Um, we have the paintings here behind me and they are more recent, so they're very much before she died. I mean, what they are is they're small paintings, so small paintings have a very different relationship. They become objects in themselves. These, these paint elements become actual material, like earth, objectness. And so they're like islands that rise out of the sea. You know, it's just idiotic that she died so young. What she did as a, as a woman and an artist and the work that she made is very important. So her work is, is timeless.